What's up YouTube? Mike from Massa and Mass Aquariums and uh, tonight's video I'm gonna be showing you how to use a refractometer. Now what's a refractometer? It is a device that helps you take your salinity or specific gravity of your saltwater tank. Now I know I've been uh, putting up a lot of videos on this tank lately but I really want to show you the process that I'm going through so that you guys can learn and hopefully all you planted guys, all you African cichlid guys, you'll take the leap like I did and jump into salt water and let me tell you, you will not be disappointed. Don't be afraid, just do it. You'll be fine. You'll learn like me and hopefully I'll post all these videos and not only will all my mistakes come out on YouTube but you'll be able to learn from them and start up a great salt water tank. So, Refractometer. Now, it's one of the more expensive uh, pieces of equipment you might need for a saltwater tank. Now, you can use a hydrometer. It's very cheap. Uh, I think it's like eight or nine dollars at the fish store, um, and it works just fine. It's just not as accurate. Now, a refractometer. Like I said, I'm going to show you right here. It measures your specific gravity and your salinity. Now, it's a great piece of equipment. Looks like this. Looks like a little, uh, you know, one piece binocular. And what you do is it comes with two different pieces of equipment. It comes with a little eyedropper, basically, and a little screw to calibrate it. Now, what you do is you're going to drop three drops of your RODI water on this part right here. And then you're going to close it up and you're going to look into a light and you're going to take your little screwdriver that it comes with and you're going to fine tune it until it reads zero and then once you've got done that you've calibrated it so after you do that you're going to wipe it off paper towel comes with a little wipey then you're going to take the exact same eyedropper or you know little turkey baster mini turkey baster take some of your water that's in your aquarium, put it same place, three drops right on the top, close this flap over, and again, you're going to look into uh, the sunlight, out a window, into your light that's hanging, into any light, and it's going to read two different. It's going to read your specific gravity, and it's going to read your salinity. Now, the best thing about this device is it's super accurate. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this video is because, well, my refractometer just came in the mail and I wanted to test my salinity and my salinity was really, really high. Not super high, but really high. Uh, you want to be right around, for just fish only, you want to be between 30 and 35 PPT or you want to be around 1.024 to 1.026 right around there. Now my salinity was high so what did I do? I took some of this water out. Now I didn't do a water change I mean you could consider it kind of a water change but what I did was I started by taking four cups of my aquarium water out and putting four cups of RODI water in which is your fresh water not salt water mix and then I tested it again and my salinity dropped a tiny bit more so I took four more cups out put four more cups of RODI in and my salinity was right on the money it was right on 1.026 or 35 PPT now that's like the threshold you can go a little bit lower especially if you're getting corals you want it to be a tiny bit lower than that but I'm right on where you need to be and I know uh, you know, you can't see any fish in here because I only have two clowns and they always stick to the way back corner. My shrimp molted, he's underneath, chilling, but trust me, everybody's doing great. Uh, yeah, so a refractometer is definitely an important piece of equipment if you do get a salt water tank. Um, it roughly cost me about $45 online. I'm sure you can get them a little bit cheaper. Uh, I did have a coupon, so it only ended up costing me $30, yay for me, but uh, yeah, 
So that's it. Refractometer. Awesome, awesome piece of equipment. This is what it looks like. You know, really basic. Um, and it works unbelievable. And it dials it in like really, really right to where the mark that you need it to be in. So that's my video. I know you guys might be bored with these videos, but you know me, I'm a planted tank guy. It's my first saltwater tank, and I want you guys to learn with me. I want you guys to be involved in this whole process, not like three, four, five month updates like all my tanks. Hey, everything went great. I'm gonna tell you everything that went wrong. I'm gonna tell you everything that went right. I'm gonna show you everything because I really think that, especially you guys who are my loyal subs, that I know you guys, plants and tanks guys, that want to get into salt water, I know that these videos are gonna help you. So I wanna give a quick shout out to two of my best buddies, uh, Jordan Watkins, J-Dubs. Go check out his channel. I'm gonna post a link down below. He has a great saltwater setup, two saltwater setups, frag tank, 10 gallon frag tank, uh, 36 gallon bow, I think it's a 36, might be a 39 gallon, um, and he really knows his shit, and if you have any questions, uh, specific questions, don't be afraid to go check out his channel, he has a really nice tank, and my brother from the IAA, Michael from Aaron's Aquariums, Big 200 gallon, six foot reef. This guy knows everything about so corals, salt water. He's the man. I'm gonna post a link to his channel down below. You go ask him. Check me out on Mass Aquarium's Facebook page. Check Michael from Aaron's Aquariums on Aaron's Aquarium's Facebook page. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in. Leave the comments in below. Go check out their two pages. There. Oh, sorry. Mike's page, there are two channels. I'm gonna post a link down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you got some good info on this. Uh, refractometer, essential piece to the saltwater world. I'm out.